there are two ways to journal. There is gratitude journaling and deep journaling. In this video, I'm going to break down how to do both of them and how you can use them both to improve your life. My name is AJ. I help young men improve their lives via the power of self-improvement. <laughs> You're clearly interested in that, so scroll down and click the subscribe button. It's a win-win for both of us. I remember I watched this one video about how to get into gratitude journaling, and it was really simple. So all you're gonna do basically is, I have my journal out right here. You're just gonna grab a pen, piece of paper. Jesus. You're just gonna write down three things, five things you're grateful for. So I'll do that with you right now. I'm grateful for this fan. Cause it keeps me cool. It's that simple, it's that simple. But AJ, can I do it on my PC? You can. Personally, I'd rather you not use technology so much. Because, like, come on now, bro. <laughs> You're so addicted and hooked to technology. Even your self-improvement habits must all be correlated to it. But, if, but what I found is that when you use technology to journal, use your PC or your laptop and you just like... Your fingers type so fast, you don't even come. Uh, what's the word? Fuck, I don't know what the word, but you don't even like realize what you've just typed out. Because your fingers are typing so fast, you don't get the, the time to think. Wait, hang on. Process. You don't get the time to process what you've just written down. So it's like, you're just typing so fast as fuck. And then you've just gotten down a whole page and you're like, well, that didn't really help processing anything. So what I found is when you write with your pen, pen and a piece of paper, you are much, much, much more likely to process the thing that you just run down. So I'm grateful for this fan because it keeps me. So you're going to write down five different things you're grateful for, okay? And you can make this into a habit you can, yeah, you should make this into a habit actually. This is very beneficial for you. Because when you write down something you're grateful for, each time it teaches you to be more <laughs> grateful for the things that you have in your life. Most of the time, most of the things we take, we take them for granted. So think about, what was the last time you told your, your mom you're grateful for? Hmm? I'm grateful for the food I got to eat this morning. Writing, writing, don't, don't click off, little bitch. So, and then, like gratitude, like most things in self improvement, journaling is a skill. Do you know what this means? <laughs> Do you know what this means? It means that we can level up the skill, but, but we are noobs at this skill. So the longer it takes for us to level it up, the better we'll be at it in the long run. You know that you've leveled up your gratitude journaling skills. When you can journal, when you can be grateful for the shit that happens in your life. I'm grateful for being abused as a child. Training your dopamine. Don't click off, little pussy. Should be doing this with me. <laughs> But my handwriting, shit, I don't care. I'm grateful for being abused as a child. What this does is it helps you see the light that's in the dark. It helps you to realize, like, wait, hang on. Maybe this wasn't all shit. Because the people who have been abused, people who went through the shit, like what I wrote down, like, I'm grateful for being abused as a child because it taught me that even whilst I was at my lowest point, I can get up here. But the people who've never gone through any struggle in their life, the people who've never gone through any pain, they're comfortable sitting right here. Whilst I was down here, when I realized, and I'm realizing that there's an up here, but they're still here, but they don't have the desire to improve. Gratitude journaling really, really, really helps you. 
to become more positive, to see the benefits of existing. These fucking, those countries that are in war right now, could you imagine being in there and being able to write down, I'm grateful for being in a war-torn country. Whoa. That guy's got, this guy, that guy's got like all the bases of self-improvement down, just from writing that down. He is unmatched, literally, just from writing that down. Okay, so that was gratitude journaling. Gratitude journaling as a basis. Write down five things you're grateful for. Pen and a paper. Consistent. If you're consistent, you'll come on now. And uh, write down why you're grateful for them. Why am I grateful for losing my AirPods? For breaking my phone. And then the last step pen and paper again <laughs> now I'm going to teach you about something else now I'm going to teach you about deep journaling and we're about a few minutes in so if you made it this far welcome to the bro section this time you'll be asked to leave a comment about one thing you're grateful for but in this bro section I'm going to speak to you entirely and filtered about deep journaling because if you're sitting here to this point right now then it means you're one of the boys this journal right here has page after 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 page of me just writing down my thoughts. So how deep journaling works is that you'll pick a concept in your brain. And here's the thing. The average person doesn't really have the much introspective thoughts to write down because they scroll on TikTok, they refuse to allow themselves to be unstimulized. You know what this means? It means that they don't allow their brains to think. So when you're sitting in a room by yourself with no distractions at all, like this room right here, the only distraction there is is this laptop and this phone, but no, neither of them are on. Your thoughts go in your mind, and the first thought that comes to mind usually is the high priority task or the high priority thought so maybe i was thinking about i should get a haircut and then i go to sit down and i'm not playing any music i'm not playing any noise nothing at all and then just like that whew, i should really should get a haircut and it's the only thing that's plaguing my mind i'm thinking i should get a haircut i should get a haircut so you know what i did as soon as i got a uh, pen and paper i started writing down my mind thinks i should get a haircut it's like, and then I asked myself, why should I get a haircut? As soon as I did that, it felt like my brain was like, oh, he's acknowledged it. Because what will happen is your mind will continuously plague you with the thought of what you should be doing. And then until you've acknowledged that thought consciously, consciously acknowledged it, it won't stop plaguing your mind. So once I wrote down the pages after pages after pages, why should, what is it? Why should get my haircut? It's like all of a sudden it just got removed. It's like it stopped being in the priority of my mind. So how can we get you into deep journaling? Well, first, because like, come on now, bro. We have millions of questions. We, we are, sorry, what the fuck is this? But first, we need to get deeper into your mind. We need to go further into your beliefs and your thought actions. No, your beliefs are what makes your actions. So we just get into the core of your beliefs when it comes to a certain topic. Why do you like exercising? Let's ask you some introspective questions. Just write them down. Write, some, write down some introspective questions with me, brother. Excuse me. <laughs> Why do I waste time on YouTube? And it feels like every time you've like journaled about this, you realize some of that mental fatigue will just leave you. And it's so powerful. <sighs> Fucking, I love deep journaling. Because it feels like I've just 
Because once you've poured out your thoughts onto a piece of paper, it's like it's saved there. Think of it like RAM. The computer is always running files and doing all this shit. But once you've like, once you have a file for it to all to be saved too, it's like, okay, okay, okay. Now we know that this file is somewhere whenever we need access to it, which means that I don't need to keep on running it in my mind anymore. So whenever you get that access, that thought again, I should get a haircut. You have your journal. We already wrote down the decision. I'm getting it on Wednesday. That simple, right? Deep journaling is much, much, so much more complex than gratitude. You can use gratitude journaling to lead into deep journaling. So like you're up here, like I'm grateful for uh, running someone. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm grateful for this nice African shirt because my parents bought it. Why am I grateful for it? Because my African parents bought it and they don't make that much money. So that must mean that they think of me as someone really dear to them. Why do they think of me as really? And then you get more deep and deep. You get more introspective with each sentence. This shit is powerful, man. You learn how to deep journal. You learn how you... <sighs> how do I explain this? Once you've learned how to deep journal, you've effectively just learned how to control your mind. You can get your mind to think about something whenever you want. And this is honestly a form of meditation. Because you have to be thinking conscious about what you're going to write down on the paper. And don't deep journal for like someone else to read. You deep journal because you No. No one else is gonna read it except for you. So don't be don't be Don't write for the reader, write for you, the writer. Does that make sense? So think about it like a book. This guy's written this book in a way the where when I read it, I'll understand because he's written it for the reader. We want you to journal in a way that it's for the writer. Who cares if someone comes across your journal? That's not what we were focused on. We were focused on you pouring your thoughts onto this piece of paper so that you wouldn't have to keep on having it in your mind over and over again. That was the most important thing, right? When you overstimulize, when you stick on porn, when you watch play video games, when you watch movies, your mind's getting worse by the moment. Why do you think this is? Because, well, those things are shallow. When you play, when you do all those bad habits I just mentioned, your mind doesn't want to journal about, well, you know, your mind is being distracted. Every second that your mind is distracted away from what you should be thinking about, we should be writing down that's another second that you've just added on more mental fatigue that you've just made it even more harder and more difficult to sit down and just write about your feelings and thoughts it's gay to write down about my feelings who cares we don't care about the external opinions of the world <clears throat> what is the objective truth that doing this activity doing this task this habit will make you much more healthier. Let me see. Yeah, most of the shit is extremely personal. It goes into my beliefs, my... <laughs> and the best part about deep journaling is that when you go, when you read back over what you journaled about, like, let's say a week or two weeks ago, you'll find how much things have changed. How your viewpoints, how your beliefs, how your thoughts, your thought process, they've all changed because, well, now you're progressive. So this deep, so at this uh, deep journaling session, you were thinking that maybe you had the belief that smoking is okay. But now you have the belief that, okay, smoking is shit for you. Now you have the belief that, okay, how can I get other people to stop smoking? Like that's, that's three levels that you've just gone by. And you've been able to track them because you've written down them in your journal. This shit is fucking powerful, bro. Really hope you get into deep journaling. <laughs> no one's made it to the end of this video. It's okay. See you later.